Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame and welcome back to another one of Game Dame Reacts. So, we're giving getting an in-depth look as to how the AI, Mr. Peterson, is going to be acting. Which I'm very excited to see because I am always a one for like learning AIs, like an alien isolation, which I still haven't beaten, which has been forever, so I might just do a completely new let's play on it. But uh I I always like to see AIs that learn especially ones in spookier type games. While this one isn't too spooky, it's still nerve wracking to not get found. So without further ado, let's watch the official Mr. Peterson AI trailer for Hello Neighbor 2. What a rundown house. Meet the creepy, AI-driven Mr. Peterson. Mr. This character Peterson. has one mission, keeping you from discovering his secrets. Hello, and welcome to Hello Neighbor 2. Hello! In this game, you'll be playing as a local journalist named Quentin, who is suspicious of his creepy neighbor, Mr. Peterson. For those new to the Hello Neighbor franchise, this is Raven Brooks, the sort of town where everyone keeps to themselves and goes about their lives. Normally, you would too, except a bunch of people have gone missing. And there's just something strange about your neighbor, Mr. Peterson. Everyone is afraid of him. There have been rumors of children going to his house and never being heard from again. Some people say he likes to lock people up in his basement. But no one has any proof. He's so got such a janky house. Peterson, his odd house, and ignore the strange sounds coming from his basement at night. You have a feeling that Mr. Peterson is behind all of the neighborhood disappearances but no one believes in your ideas and theories. And while you normally wouldn't break into someone's house, you're the only one who believes something is wrong and has the guts to uncover the truth. When you break going into Mr. undercover, house, you'll be going against an AI that is constantly evolving. Ooh. Our goal for yes. Hello Neighbor 2 is to provide unique player experiences. <laughs> this is an experience that is driven by the community. Mr. Peterson's behavior is a combination of a neural network and algorithms that allow him to constantly learn from his experiences with everyone who plays our game. It begins with the collection of player activity. Mr. Peterson takes note Wait, of that's behavior, insane. whether or not most players are likely to hide in a closet, use a certain escape route, or certain objects. As time progresses and he learns, Mr. Peterson's behavior may change and surprise you. How Mr. Wow, Peterson plays wait, in that's one so encounter creepy. with you might be different from the next, all due to his encounters with the game's community as a whole. In this way, the community's experience with Mr. Peterson changes over time, allowing for an AI that is developed through community actions, replayability, and great stories of neighborhood shenanigans. But these new experiences go beyond. Oh my Mr. God! Peterson. I want a little hood in for my Hello cat. Two, players can interact with all characters in Raven Brooks, and these characters share the same AI core, but behave differently and have their own stories for you to discover. So Wait, that's really cool. It's not just game, Mr. Peterson. You're really contributing to the development and improvement of Mr. Peterson's AI. We hope this presentation of our AI and development gives you an idea of what to expect in Hello Neighbor 2. If you'd like to try an early access version of Hello Neighbor 2, you can check out some of our alphas on the Microsoft Store. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the neighborhood. No, but no, but seriously, that looks it, it looks really awesome the way that they're coming. He's learning as he goes. And then like what I was saying at the beginning of the video, I love that kind of stuff just because it has to make you think a little bit more critically as to how you're going to approach each certain situations, especially when you're breaking into someone else's creepy, unkept home. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys really enjoyed the first one. And let me know if you're going to enjoy the second Well, if you think you're going to enjoy the second one. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I highly appreciate your time as always. But please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at, but you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.